<laughs> You're a blizzard, Ari. Oh yeah! It's Mick the Jew. What a beer review. This week, Bavaria. How you all doing? Hope you're having a nice, crappy, rainy day with horrible weather and houses falling over and all that, but, you know, I will. Well, <sighs> this week, Bavaria. That's good. Now, obviously, I've had Bavaria before. Like, who has But I haven't reviewed it before. I haven't really critically drank it before. So that's 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 a different story, you know, critically drinking something. Right, so we're gonna try the first test, cracking the cold with the boys. That's a nice just kind of gentle at the beginning with a nice click at the end. Satisfying is enough, you know. Smelling it. Doesn't smell like tea. That's that's a that's a good sign. Don't think I'm gonna drink urine because you don't want to be drinking urine inside your chest. Ooh, it's been a while since that Bavaria. Nice tang to it. Kind of reminds you of the type of pint, like if you're having a pint and someone hands you something new. If you get me in the middle of the night, like you've been drinking, pining all night, and then someone goes, oh, here, I have Budweiser. And you take a sip and you're like, well, okay. And then you're like, it's actually kind of nice. And then you go on with your night. First kind of this, it's like that, right? I'm sure you'd be drinking the rest of it, it'd just be like, normal. Which we'll try later on for myself. But, it's very nice, it's very nice. I remember when I first had Bavaria. It's actually weird, because you know when you're saying, Beers, you kind of remember when you first had them because you had parties or something shit like that. Like, I remember first having Budweiser was like at some party when I was like fourteen. Sorry, Bob, and sorry, Dad. But Bavaria, I remember specifically because it was a very very funny Halloween. There's a story behind it, so I thought I'd give you the story too along with the drink. So yeah. Oh, that's nice. That that. That improves as it goes along, I'll let you know that. Mm, nice beer. But, um, see, what happened was, many years ago, I was about 16 years of age. Or was it 17? No, 17, sorry. I apologise to all my fans. I was 17 years of age. And I don't recommend anything that goes in this story to anybody underage. Which is about 90% of my audience. Um, see, what I did was, I was in town with my best friend at the time, Mikey. Mike and Mikey, I know, there was a whole thing about that. And we decided that year, it was Halloween, and we were decided we'd dress as Jay and Silent Bob. And if you don't know what Jay and Silent Bob is, Google it. I was Bob. And you'd kind of get it if you look at the picture and kind of, yeah, I can get your Bob. You look like Bob. <laughs> anyway, so my old sick, I was in there talk for the day, and it was really funny. We were going around town, running around like little kabankies. Oh, look at us! It was oh, daddy, you know, having fun. I didn't speak for most of the day. A friend of mine hit me in the balls, and that caused me to speak, and that broke me. I started talking for the whole fucking day. But we had to eventually convince some dude to go into Tesco, and I convinced him. I paid him to give him money, and he bought us a big bottle of whiskey, and then we went down a little. Rampage around Cabra. Well, I say Rampage. We walked around. We drank the whole bottle with a bottle of kick, which was like boost of the day. And we drank that all down. And we were fairly drunk. And we were hanging out with some people. And it gets very hazy at this middle point for me. But I remember at one point, and this is the only bit with the Bavaria. The rest of the story just takes a while past the Bavaria. The Bavaria is not really a key point. I just remember Bavaria was that night. But some dude comes in with a bag of cans, like comes out with a bag of cans in the ministry and just goes, like when I say a bag of cans, he had a backpack with loads of cans in it. And he just goes, Yeah, hey, Mick, here you go. And I was like, Oh, thank you. I was like, Ooh, I've never had Bavaria before. I went, mm. <laughs> And I finished the can, but it wasn't very nice. But we ended up going along, da 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 da. Then me and my gear got kind of late, and it was like, All right, man, we should get back to the house. 
So we head back and his mum was having a Halloween party or whatever it was. And uh, we didn't realise that she fucked off into town to have a few beers with the lads. And we got back and the house was locked. And Mikey didn't have a key. So we're like, shit, how are we going to do this? So we're there for a good while. And Mikey managed to shimmy his arm through and open the door. And we were all sitting in the porch, me and him chilling sitting in the porch. And his mum had like a bowl full of sweets left there. She was giving out trick or treaters. So we were like, keep munching on that. Fucking happy as Larry. At least warm enough in the fucking porch. I was starting to come down from the drink and I was like, oh, I fucking need a drink. Ugh, getting, getting me hangover. Ugh. It was nice. And then she pulls up Mikey's brother and our friend Timmy. Hi, Timmy. Um, and they pull up and they walk up just like, do, 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 do. hey, man, what's up? And we're like, hey. And they're like, what's wrong? Like, we're locked out. It's like, how are you in the porch? And he's playing the whole arm thing. And then Mark was like, oh. that window's up, unlocked. And uh, Mikey went, oh really? So he boosts up Mikey, Mikey climbs up scars like a fucking monkey. Opens it, pulls open thing, hops up through, comes down, and opens the top window. Now, it wasn't like a window, oh, it's like that. It was one of the ones that just opens there, the top, where like that little bit of space. And uh, I'm standing there, and Timmy's quite big, he's like six foot tall guy. And he had a bit of weight on him at the time, he lost it, but fair play him, but he had a bit of weight on him at the time. I'm standing there pissing, and I go, Timmy, <coughs> bruh. You go first. I'm telling you, you you're fit. You'd be grand. You'd be grand. And he's looking at me, going, "The space is like that small," and he's like this big. And he's looking at me, going, "I'm not getting through that." I, you mean? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And he goes, "No, look, you go first, and if it's easy for you, I'll give it a try." And I was like, "All right, all right, fair, fair, fair enough, fair enough." Pissed out of my head. So I listen to Timmy, and then Mark comes out right, and he grabs me from the back up like that, and him, Timmy, helps him, and we put my legs through first. So get me legs through, and I get you, and it hits it. And I'm, I'm, I'm very thin at this point, and be like, not that heavy. My tummy's stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck hanging. The front part of my body hanging out like 